What is going on, fellow farmers? Welcome back to another episode of FS19 with your boy CJ Farms. Today, guys, we're going to be trying to finish up this. Finishing up this. I'm going to try and finish up this canola, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, ladies and gentlemen, and smash that like button for me as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, this harvester was not quite full, but we're going to go ahead and just finish unloading and get him back to work. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content so far this week and the beginner's guide tutorials. Uh, I'm going to be starting some uh, modding tutorials next week, uh, which will be including like uh, specific mods that I use in my game, um, vehicle mods, tractor mods, uh, harvesting mods, uh, any kind of mods you can use for the game. We're going to be doing tutorials on that, showing you guys how to install them and how to put them into your game and how they work. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this trailer full here. Hurry up, get that front leveled out. Get it leveled out. Yeah, that's almost a full trailer there, guys. So we're going to put this back over here. And we're going to get this guy back on the job. And hopefully he's... Well, he's already missed a piece back here, hasn't he? He missed a piece back here. You're fired, man. You are fired. You're fired, bro. Get off my farm and don't come back. You will not be referred to any of the farmers for future reference, just so you know. I'm putting denied on your application. Denied. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get a worker on this. Let's get him going. There you go. So we got a whole, as you guys can see, we got a whole field of canola here to harvest. Let's go ahead and see how much we got in here. Got 85%. So we're going to go ahead and take this over to the grain silo and dump it in. Um, still fighting this cold, guys. I am still fighting this cold. Um, I just don't know what to do about the cold I have. Oh man, it is it is really um, a bad cold, guys. And I don't like. I hate being congested because it makes your voice sound funny. I don't. I don't really like that sound. Let's shut this down. Let's go ahead and dump it out of the back. You're gonna see it coming down right there. And let's go over here and watch our canola go up. So we've got quite a bit of crop in the in the uh, in the grain silo, guys. We got a lot of barley, um, oats. And we've got um, a lot of corn. We've got almost 140,000 liters of corn. All right, so there's that. So we're going to take him back out to the farm. Let's get him on back out there. And uh, I think what we might do today is focus on maybe our sheep. We might focus on getting our sheep uh, set up the rest of the way. And we got a harvester over there. That we need to bring back. Bring back. You know what we might do? We might we might focus on cleaning the farm. The, the farm needs to be cleaned up, and we might just do that. So let's go ahead and get this back out of the field uh, where he belongs, and that way when the uh, harvester is ready for a drop, I can just come over here and get him set up. Uh, let's focus on getting the farm cleaned up a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's go inside this door here. And I always have a hard time getting to this door. You got to go like that. I don't know why. Let's close the door back. And let's get these garage doors open. Get that would open. There's one of our big cedars right there, guys. That's another one of our big cedars. I think it's a cedar. Isn't that a cedar or a cultivator? I can't remember. I cannot remember. I think this is a... Uh, yeah, it's a cedar. It's got, the, got those things there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this door up here. And I think you guys have seen the inside of this right here. If I can, I can never get that door to open correctly. So um, I usually have to go through it upstairs. But we're gonna get the farm in tip-top shape here, guys. As you can see, it's pretty much already in line. But um, we're gonna go around here and now this is where our harvesters go here. So we're gonna go over here and grab this harvester. That is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop this fence. And we're going to put this harvest up. We still have to fertilize these fields. Um, we got to fertilize those fields and put probably put slurry on them or some liquid fertilizer. What what I don't have in slurry, I will use liquid fertilizer for. Let's grab our pressure washer. And let's go ahead and clean this up real good. As uh, you, That's the only thing I don't like about them pressure washers, man. They don't go. I mean, like, look, that's as far as I can go, really. Come on, man. In real life, I mean, pressure washing hoses are much longer than that, depending on what you get. You can't even, like, 
know what I'm saying? I can't even go like on this other tractor. I'll just wash it from here, I guess. Gotta wash all these. Gotta wash this big header off, man. That is a big corn header, guys. A big corn header right there. <laughs> That's what she said. But, um. I don't know if I can get up there or not with this. With this, uh. Try to get up there. Yeah, I can't get up there. Alright, so. Looks looks pretty good. Looks like it's good and shiny. So we will go ahead and put this back. We'll hop back in the harvester. And uh, I'm just going to park my header. Does it need gas? I need to put some gas. That needs to be repaired too. It needs to be repaired. So we're going to put our... Uh, I put my headers right here. I don't have anywhere else to put them. But I am going to put them right. I'm going to put this one right here. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Oh, don't hit the fence, man. All right, so we're going to pull this harvester right in here. Uh, and we're going to fill it up with gas. And let's get us some get us some fuel. Shouldn't take long. There we go. And we're going to bring it over here, and we're going to repair it as well. So we're going to pull it in right here. So doing some maintenance with the vehicles, repairing them, putting gas in them. It's always a good good thing to do to take time to do that. So we'll repair it. So now it is repaired. And now we're going to go park this back into the uh, shed over here. Um, and that shed directly ahead, which you guys are seeing right there, is where I keep the harvesters. And then uh, over there, I've got a couple other sheds that I keep things in. That gray shed, I don't have anything in yet. But... Give it time, guys. We will buy some. Uh, we will buy some new toys and put them in there. Uh, so, for those that didn't see the last episode, you know, I always link the previous episode in the in the in the new episode, and I'll do that as well here. Um, ooh, that is crooked. That is crooked. Come on, man, pull forward, pull forward. There you go. All right. So, with that being said, um, I for the last the guy, the ones that didn't see the last episode. I do have um, a new map I've been looking at uh, recently, and it's a map that a lot of people have played on or, or are playing on. Um, let's go over here, and uh, I think our harvester, there's our gator, let's grab that real quick, I got to put that back up in the last episode. <laughs> uh, but it's a new map I've been looking at, normally guys I will spend 20 to 30 days on a map. And then I will I will move and I will go to a new map. Um, let's see, what was it I wanted to do? Let's park the gator right here. All right, there, we'll park it right there. And then we're gonna hop out. And I'm going to grab this tractor right here. And it might help if I open the garage door up. All right, so we got it ready to go. And let's get it rolling, man. There goes our story right there. So as I said, guys, I don't really normally get every inch of the field, but um, it is what it is. I mean, that's just me. That's that's the way I do things. Um, it is per. It, either way, your fields are going to get fertilized. It may not be 100%, but they are fertilized nonetheless. Let's go ahead and get over here and uh, get this part right here. I do like to get a vast majority of the field though. Alright, so we're going to cut it off there. And then we're going to go down this side right here. Alright, when we're done here, looks like the slurry goes pretty quick, which is to be expected, but. Um, and then we'll move on over to um, field 22. So once we get this part here, because I'm because a majority of it, like um, field 24 and 23, is mostly covered. Now field 22 is covered completely in manure, uh, but this one right here is covered halfway in manure and then halfway in slurry. So uh, we will get it done, nonetheless. We will get it done. All right, so let's go ahead and cut it off there and raise it up. And then we're going to start on this big field here. I'm pretty sure we can put a worker on this stuff. Let's 
go ahead and bring it around right here and cut it on. And we're going to put a worker on that. We'll let him finish that up. As you can see, guys, I was going to clean up the farm, but there's just not much time for to clean up the farm. Uh, it would have to be a day where I'm not doing any work at all on the farm. No harvesting, nothing like that. Um, and we could just take a whole day to actually just clean up the entire farm and get everything in order. Maybe move some things around. I'm going to pull up right under here. There we go. Look at that harvest full, the harvester full of canola, guys. Look at that. We're going to cut it off right there. And we're going to hop in here. As you guys can see, you you can watch the canola just drop in. I love that feature in the game. Um, I'm very excited, ladies and gentlemen, about FS22 coming out. I'm very excited about that. I am very excited about hitting 1K as we are very, very close to 1K subs, ladies and gentlemen. We are so close. Um, so if you haven't already, ladies and gentlemen, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button for me as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And when you hit that like button, the more likes the video gets, the more that YouTube puts the video out there for other people to see, which means more views, more subscribers, more people on the channel, and more people uh, to enter the chance for the giveaway. So as you all know, once we hit 1K subs over here, I will be doing another giveaway. Um, and it will be a copy of FS19 again, but... Only this time, there's going to be a big surprise gift giveaway with the um, with the giveaway. So make sure you guys are sharing these videos, man, and telling your friends about the channel, your dogs, your neighbors, your, your cats, your you know, guys. I'm just being silly, but um, seriously, guys, share the videos, man. Share these videos. Share it to your social media. Uh, tell everybody about CJ Farms. Um, yeah, I would greatly, greatly appreciate if you guys did. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna park it right back. Here. Let's head back over here. Now, what we're waiting on here, guys, on this, is we are waiting on, the local plumber will arrive at six o'clock to install your new farming innovations fill system. Installation will be completed in 10 hours. So what that means is this is part of Global Company Mods. So he's gonna come and install a pipe that's actually gonna allow them to have water through a water tap. So uh, the water, I believe, goes in right here. And their food goes right here. Now, um, you know, sheep don't require much. They re they require grass and hay. That's pretty much it. I mean, we can pretty much go ahead and um, we can go ahead and give them some. Because um, I don't normally purchase water trailers. Um, so I'm going to get these guys some food. And when I get them some food, guys, I'll bring y'all back into the game. All right, guys. So we've got our, um, got our sheep some water here. So we're going to go ahead and actually let me straighten this thing out a little bit. I'm telling you guys, I'm I'm so OCD about things like that. I've got to get it. There we go. That's much. Oh my god, that's much better. Let's go ahead and give these guys some water. Go ahead and give them some water. Uh, at least until the plumbing. I hope put you in. guys are enjoying the content, man. I thoroughly enjoy you all being here and checking out my videos and and uh, watching me do this farming because I, I I really really thoroughly enjoy doing farming. I believe this will work here. I can just get them to fall off it. There we go. Okay, now they got some grass. And so now they got some food. They got a little bit of food to get them going. Uh, we do have 30 sheep in the pen. We got 30 sheep going. Uh, we're going to go back and grab a couple more bells. First person's so cool um, in these machines like this. They're just so cool. I love the way they, they built these machines on here. Yeah, guys, hear that? Hear that air compressor sound? I love that mod. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and go over here. And we're going to grab two more of these bales right here. Did I get the other one? I did. Let's get that on there a little better than that. There we go. And we're going to take these over there and feed them to them because uh, that's not going to be enough grass. And then I'll give them a little bit of, uh, I got one bell of hay over there I can actually give to them. So they got full food, full water, and they will be producing some wool very soon that we can take off of the spinnery and sell it. So, uh, it is very early in the morning, guys. I'm recording this very early in the morning. Um, I haven't quite got my bearings going yet. 
So let's go ahead and we're gonna just we're gonna try to drop this down and stand it up. There we go. Alright, and now we can just kind of um, we can kind of stab it and push it over back over there with the other stack. Push it back over there. Come on man, come on, come on, give us some juice, give us some juice. There you go. There we go, guys. There we go. We got it. So that's what that mod is in your in your um, in your global company. If you hit Control G, it pulls up your global company mods. And right here, like this right here, activate extendable placeable. So what that is, guys, that allows me to have the water tap um, in my uh, on each of my pins that I put up. It even allows your chickens to have water. Uh, but that's so. If I uncheck that, it will take it out of the game. This right here shows object info, which is if I walk up to something, it shows me what it is. So let's exit out of that. Um, oh, I actually meant to turn that back off. Let me turn that. Let me turn that off. There we go. There we go. So now, see, it won't show anything. See that? But I do have super strength where I can pick things up. See that? I wonder if the cows could use some silage to see. Can they? They are full. They are completely full. Come here, man. Quit acting stupid. Back over here. Get right there. All right, there we go. There's that, guys. Uh, and that is going to do it for this episode of FS19. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to subscribe to, the channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And smash that like button for me as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, guys and girls. Um, also, come join my CJ Farms Discord where uh, you get the fellow farmer role as soon as you enter the Discord. Uh, it's a cool place to hang out, guys. Come in there. Let's liven it up a little bit. Let's chat. Come in there and talk with me and other uh, fellow farmers, others that play FS19 or Farming Simulator related games. With that being said, I love you guys so much. And until next time, this is TJ Farms. And one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I will see you all in the next video.